Have you ever wanted to find a store, wanted to maybe find some store hours, or wanted to call them on the phone, and you got on your computer, and it wasn't on the front page, and it wasn't on the back page, and it wasn't on the middle page, and you looked and looked and looked and looked and looked, and four or five minutes later you say, I don't know how to get a hold of them, so I'm not going to bother shopping with them. So making your contact inf information easy to find on a phone, on a tablet, on a computer, it's one of the basics. Have you ever wanted to shop with someone, went up to the store, and it was closed? Sometimes you went up to the store, and it was closed, and there was somebody behind the register counting the money. And you go and you bang on the door and shake it a little bit. No, 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 no. We are closed. You cannot come in. Your store hours are a basic. Let's talk about this for just a moment. Three sort of ways to look at it. Well, first one, what does your customer want? Your customer wants you to have hours that are convenient for them, not that work for you. Here's my recommendation. My recommendation is that you keep the same hours as the big box stores and as the malls that are near you. Everybody knows the hours of the mall. They should, know, you know, you should be there for them the same hours that the mall is. So that's my recommendation. That's my recommendation. So it's about what your customer wants. Convenient hours for your customer. It's also about money. You know, if you're not open on Sunday, Conventional wisdom says you're missing 15% of your sales. 15% of sales happen on Sunday. I don't know how you can really afford to miss that money. Not only that, but from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. That's what I call money in the margins. And it might not be busy, but it's convenient for your customer, and you're going to start making money. You're going to start building those off-hour sales. So be there. So, there's, so it's about uh, what your customer wants. It's about the money. But it's also about competition. So remember, 90% of the dollars that are spent in retail are still spent in brick and mortar stores. If you want to compete, keep the same hours as the competition as the brick and mortar stores. Keep those hours. You know, if you wanted to become a competitive golf player, you know, you would take some lessons, you would get a coach, you would practice, and you wouldn't show up with a pair of golf clubs that you bought at a garage sale. You would do everything you could to compete at the highest level possible. Now, all right, now I'm, <laughs> I know some of you are going, yeah, 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 Bob, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. You're going, ah, nobody would shop in my store on Sunday. Or uh, I, I hear this, well, I'm open till 8 o'clock, two days a week because that you know, gives my customers a chance to shop, or, you know, uh, or I don't have the staff, or I can't afford it. I've heard every excuse why people don't keep convenient hours. Here's another acronym for you, TDC. They don't care. They don't care. Your customers just want you to be there for them. So store hours. I would strongly, strongly encourage you. There's somebody I know who we've been encouraging her, her, her to stay open for years. We've been encouraging her to stay open on Sunday. Finally this year, she stayed open on Sunday, and she posted on Facebook, Facebook, OMG, I could not believe how busy I was, and I couldn't believe how my customers thanked me for being open on Sunday. 